Hello everybody, Tyler Rowland here. I'm at Louisville Ballard High School and with me here is one of the key players on a Ballard team that right now is ranked number one in the state of Kentucky, Maker Barr and Barr who plays center for this team and Maker it's it's good to good to have you on here and um, and I know that this is a community that's been very supportive and of your play and talk about just what this what it means to you just to be a part of um, to be a part of this community. Uh, it, it's meant a lot to me, you know. I mean, for, for my first year coming over here, I don't know anybody and just feel love with the support I got from other people just and made a different family. And I just feel comfortable with them. Right? I, I know a lot of people, but I love being in that community, so I love the city. And, yeah. and you, you came here, I know you started in it was 2016, I believe, and then in 19, 19 was your first full year playing organized basketball of course now you become one of the elite players in the state and talk about if you could go back and talk to a younger maker bar that's coming in that's just learning the game what would you tell him i would tell you just believe it. you know just believe in what you're doing like there's a lot of chances like like even back home if you, you if you want to play basketball you got to stick with it and just stay in the gym stay out of trouble you know there's a lot of stuff going on back home so a lot of kids they're not able to go to the gym and stuff like that because what's going on with us. But like in America, it's just easy. Like you can stay in the gym, go to school, go home. That's the only thing you're focusing. So I, that's I think that's what helped me a lot. But any kid out there, if you want to achieve that dream and stuff like that, just just believe in what you're doing. That's all. And I know one of the things you've you've really been working on and it's showing is um, your strength. And um, talk about just the effort and what you've done in the weight room to to this day. I mean, I have one of the best coaches I think in the state, Coach Hagney, uh, the weight weight lifting. So he put that in the program. Like that's a good program I never seen. Not like, my first time being with him. It was 2019. So since 2019, we've just gone through it and we just keep adding stuff. And I, I was loving it. So I stayed with him. Like every class I had, just fun for me, just being in the weight room, lifting all that. So that's what helped me a lot. Especially this year, you can see. It. You know, and also, coach always push me there. And you got to be in the weight lifting. You got to do this. You got so there's a lot of people talking about that, especially in weight. Like I need some weight on me. So going to high level is going to be different. It's going to be a lot of challenge. So that's why I'm always focusing on that. And I think Coach Hagner is doing a good job with the team, with the rest of the guys. So, yep. And 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 one thing that you have, and you could see it on them. I mean, so somebody like it's an outsider watching you guys on the court is the bond that you guys have as a team. Just talk about your teammates and the and the special bond that you all have. I, I, we have a pretty team, like pretty good team, especially like the same team we had last year, and just the chemistry we built last two years, and we add a couple of pieces. I feel like we get it, like you know, we get to go. Like, you know, we build a lot, of, a lot of relations in that locker room. So, yeah. yeah and, um, and one thing I know, you guys go say you get a big win. Um, you guys go out to eat somewhere. Um, since moving to the states, what has been your favorite food? I got a lot of. Fa uh, I eat a lot of food, though, and I love a lot of food, especially the Chick Fil A. And I love uh, Five Guys too. And I can eat a lot of my especially like homemade. It might be a spaghetti. So, yeah, that's might be my favorite. Uh, Dr. Pepper is my favorite drink. I know he, he, everybody know that. So, yeah. Yeah, and what? Um, and 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 do you play? Do you play video? Do you play 2K? I'm not a 2K fan like, at all. I play FIFA. So, and most people don't play FIFA here. They play 2K, and Fortnite, all that. So I don't play those type of game. I'm not good at it, but I'm good at FIFA. So I, I don't. I, I'm not seeing anybody can beat me here. So oh, nice. yeah. Say it again. Uh, I mean, growing up, like, in Africa, soccer is, like, number one sport. Like, when you grow up, you play since you're little. That's the number one sport you play since you're little. So, I, I love playing. Uh, so I played soccer since I was, like, four or three. And growing up, and just stopped at, like, five or six years now. That's why I stopped playing soccer. But I used to also, I play handball, which is my favorite sport. And then I switched to basketball. It was 2016. That's why I switched to basketball. You know, but so I love soccer. It's my favorite sport. Like that's what we love there. Like people love football here. That's why we love soccer there in Africa. So just different there. Yeah. That's awesome, yeah. And and, la and lastly, Maker, are there any shout outs you'd like to give? Uh, I just want to give uh, the the Ballard Bruins fan 
the support like we had the last last night you can see the fan coming up and show up like that's been a lot for us and that's that's what motivate us to play hard and more than that so we, we wish them just come over every time especially the, the next game we're going to play away game is which is the hardest game but if they show up i think we can go out with w that so yep. very well said we wish you the best this year with maker bar from louisville ballard and be sure to stay tuned to local providers for for coverage of this ballard team this year and we, we look forward also be sure to check out our other interviews we're going to have we have coach chris renner and gabe sisk i'm tyler Rowland, and thank you for tuning in today